Hey family, hey butterfly family, Grand Rising to you all. I'm doing a um celebrity reading on Quincy. Quincy is the son of Kim Porter, the late Kim Porter and Albie Shore. They were once an item a long time ago. But anyway, this is a requested reading right here. Now this, let me say this first, this new year of 2024, um, I will only be accepting reading requests only from those who are a member on my channel. If you're not a member on my channel, you can, um, give your sister a donation, okay? A donation, a $5 donation. And I will honor your reading request. This is your way of paying homage to me, showing me love, and appreciating what I do. Other than that, I will be led by the Spirit when it comes to the readings that I decide to do. So I just want to put that out there. And I love you guys, and I thank you for your love and supporting my channel. And if anybody do want to sign up, you know, you will see the link above, okay, saying join on my channel. But other than that, you know, it will be a donation, okay? And I would definitely, you know, post that um, on my videos that many of you know if you would like to offer a reading request, okay? Yeah, I'm expecting a donation, okay, a small donation. I thank you in advance. All righty. <clears throat> what have you seen here in this reading concerning Quincy? Um, it is not factual. It is allegedly, and this is for entertainment purpose only. All right. Um, you know, Quincy is having a hard time. He's really having a hard time. It's enough that he's dealing with his mother um, the late Kim Porter. It's enough that he's dealing with her death, okay? They were very, very, very close. I want to show many of you some of these pictures right here. And actually, it's very painful to look at. Um, I, I wish I wish this on nobody, but, you know, you know, life happens. This is him and his mom right here. Here's another picture of him and his mom. As you see, they were very close. So anyway, I just want y'all to see what I was seeing. <clears throat> so I'm going to be using this image right here. Anyway, when I'm looking at Quincy, um, what comes to me, not only is he still dealing with, you know, um, with the fact that his mom is no longer around, um, he also look at Diddy um, as a father figure as well. And even though he looks at Diddy as a father figure, he has his own relationship with his uh, father, I'll be sure. But Diddy is the one that's, uh, for whatever reason, okay, I don't know how I got like that, but Diddy is the one that um, he's living with. And um, to me, it, in the public, is acknowledging as, as his father, okay? So anyway, um, I guess you could say Diddy sort of raised him as well or adopted him. I'm not really sure of that dynamic. But anyway, he's also dealing with, you know, uh, the chaos and dramas going on at home concerning Diddy. And he does love him and looks up to him. Okay, I'm definitely picking up on that. Um, and he definitely does not like the gossip and rumor that's going on about him. Let me just say that. And it, and it is really, really affecting him. Now... 
what I have here, this is pretty much like the past energies, okay? I have here flow. This is him going with the flow. Or should I say trying to go with the flow. And then right here, this represents oneness. This is someone that's pretty much, you know, have a lot on their mind and they are tapping in. Uh, I truly believe that he meditates, okay? And he's seeking answers. Pretty much one that's going within himself. Being still. And also being open to receiving signs. This is his energy. Next, <clears throat> right here, I have in the present energies, I have here, this is upside down. It came out upside down. This is security. I talk about abundance as well. Abundance means many, many things to many people. Not only, you know, financial security, prosperity, um, but ultimate abundance is a peace of mind as well. Okay. Um, but it's a security. You know, this one body's not worrying for nothing. Okay. But it looked like his foundation has been shake shooken. Okay. His foundation definitely has been shooken. And this is bothering him as well. I don't know why it would, you know. Um, maybe he feels like you know, due to what's going on with P. Diddy, you know, it can affect him as well. Um, but right here, he's not feeling secure for some reason. He's not feeling secure for some reason. And right here says adventure. I think about somebody that wants to get away, to get away from it all. I think about somebody that is looking for some distractions in their life. So this is him seeking adventure. He may end up doing some traveling or something. Right here, this represents the uh, near future. I think about from this day forth, okay? It has here going forward. This is what he's trying to do. He's trying to press forward, okay? This is the energy that I'm getting as far as in the near future. Within three, six, nine, 12 days, weeks, or months. But this is him trying to move forward. Okay, it says going forward. And right here, he's seeking change as well. Or he could possibly be going through some kind of change. All right. I look at this as outcome, but also I look at these as just random messages. Now, right here, this kind of getting an idea what's going on with him behind the scenes. Now, this says healing chaos. So, it's a lot of chaos going on behind the scenes, okay? With him and all around him. And the fact that he um, lives with P. Diddy, okay? Um, it's chaos in that environment. Let me just say that. So, it has here healing chaos. And this is upside down. This says, stand still. Now, by this being upside down, this can let me know that he could be possibly very distracted. Okay? Um, he may not be at peace for some reason because it's hard for him to stand still. Something has him like this. Okay. Right here, he's not staying still. And it also looks like he's dealing with chaos. It looks like to me he's trying to bring balance to a situation. Let me just say that. But anyway, healing chaos. Okay, I'm going to reshuffle. I do read my 
cards upside down. Um, this time, I'm just going to let them fall out and just see what's going to come back out or anything else different. Spirit guides connect with Quincy. Seeking clarity of the current energy surrounding Quincy. The power of the Holy Spirit leads me to all truth. Seeking clarity of those current energy surrounding Quincy. Seeking clarity of those current energy surrounding Quincy. They came back out oneness. So he's definitely, I should believe he's the one that meditates, okay? He's the one that's seeking answer. They go within themselves. Seeking clarity of the current energy surrounding Quincy. In prayer to the current energy Ooh. surrounding Quincy. Now, this, this looked like it was trying to be upside down, but I'm just going to read it. It says stillness. But actually, this sort of came out upside down, okay? And then I have here abundance upside down. I told many of you abundance means many, many things to many people. I'm sure he has money. Tadidi adopted him, I believe. And he's also the son of Al Bishur. But see, it's one thing to have financial security. But also, does he have a peace of mind? When I get this, this is somebody that does not have a peace of mind. They are very disturbed and bothered. I'm going to read um, one of the cards for you real quick, family. Give me a minute. I'm going to read this one real quick, Oneness. This is the first card that popped out when I started reshuffling. When you receive this card, be open to receiving signs. Be still. Do nothing. Be open. Breathe. Relax completely and thoroughly. Incubate your dreams for the future. If you are trying to make a decision, take the time to watch for signs and listen to the whisper of the universe. Watch your dreams for messages regarding the situation. So it's pretty much like he's looking for a sign of what to do. Okay? He could be feeling very hopeless as far as what's going on in his family structure right now. Because his family, his family structure has been shaken due to what's going on with P. Daddy. He can clarify to the current energy surrounding Quincy. The clarity of the current energy surrounding Quincy. Right here, I have solitude. So he's spending a lot of time alone. Pretty much going in hermit mode. Also, I have here pleasures. So I'm sure that he's seeking pleasures, whatever this means to him. For the most part, some distractions. And I have here courage. This is him trying to build up enough courage. Due to what's going on in his present life. And it also could have a lot to do with his decision making as well. Seeking additional information, the current energy surrounding Quincy at this present time. 
some clarity of the current energy surrounding Quincy at this present time. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Go back. Go back. I, these two came out right here. The first two cards that were down here. Okay. I have here healing chaos. So this is him trying to bring balance to a situation that's going on in his personal life. Okay. It's so a lot of chaos, but he's trying to bring healing to it. Somebody's trying to bring balance. And see, he is, he is the oldest of his siblings. Let me just say that. So I'm sure that they are going through a lot also. And he's big bro. So he's probably trying to be strong for them. But literally, they, but literally they know, you know, he's breaking down also. You know, he's trying to stay sane for them. So anyway, healing chaos. And I have here, it came out upside down. This is stand still. But how can he stand still? He's pretty much go, 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 okay? It's hard right now for him to stand still. And don't worry, I will ask... A couple of questions. <clears throat> I want to see something with this right here. This is my homemade deck. I just want to see what the energies are surrounding Quincy at this time. Holy Spirit leads me to all truth concerning Quincy. What are the present energies that's going on with Quincy since P. Diddy has been, um, since the uh, rumors and gossip going on surrounding P. Diddy? How is Quincy dealing with you? What are the current energies surrounding Quincy dealing with P. Diddy? Dealing with the rumors and accusations of P. Diddy. What are the current energies surrounding Quincy? Okay. All right. This is good to see. Okay. So no matter what's going on, it has here, they are protected and covered. Angels around them. So yeah, I truly believe one of those angels is his mother, Kim Porter. I'm sure she's around him as well. But according to the spirit, he's protected. He's covered. So no matter what's going on behind the scenes, okay, um, he's going to be just fine. He's going to be just fine. It's something that he really, really wants to do. It has here not the right time, not now. So the answer concerning that situation, the spirit is saying not the right time, not now. Right here, he's not feeling confident at all. Pretty much probably not feeling confident about the future. Because his life is kind of hectic right now due to what's going on behind the scenes at home. So not feeling confident. Pretty much what that means to him. And I have your outcome. Expect things to get better. Positive change around the corner for Quincy. Positive change around the corner for Quincy. And we did see the, the uh, message change. How does Quincy feel about P. Diddy? How does Quincy feel about P. Diddy?
Okay, this is not answering my question. I, I, I want I want answers to the question, okay? This is some additional information. How does Quincy feel about P. Diddy at this time? How does Quincy feel about P. Diddy at this time? What are his inner and most deep thoughts? How does he feel about P. Diddy at this time? Sometimes when I shuffle, a lot of my decks would do like this. So give me a minute. I'm going to read this, put this here. Let me continue looking. Okay, I think it was two that um, flipped over. Let me see something. It was sideways. Okay, this one flipped sideways like this. I'm acknowledging that as well. Okay. So far, <clears throat> I got these three answers. Okay, has self-respect. So I take from this that he does respect him okay uh i'm going to take it as a father figure you know because he definitely sees him as a, as a father figure but it has here has self-respect it also says lack of growth going in circles in life no spiritual growth and remember i asked the question of his thoughts concerning p diddy and this could be this could be due to the things he has seen as well, as far as growing up being around him. Lack of growth going in circles in life, no spiritual growth. And give them time, they will come around a lot on their mind. And we know that P. Diddy has a lot on his mind because he's been sued left and right. Maybe P. Diddy behind the scenes is very distant towards him. Okay, he might be distant to a lot of his children due to the fact he may not want them to see him, you know, um, in the way that he is now, feeling defeated. And because um, I'm sure he doesn't want a lot of things to come out about him, but his children, uh, due to social media, they, they already know what they know already. Okay. So he might want to hang that up. Do the social media. They already know what they know already. They don't mean they believe it, but they, they've already heard a lot of things already. So anyway, give them time. They will come around a lot on their mind. I'm going to ask the question again. What are Quincy's thoughts concerning P. Diddy? A lot came out. I have to really look this over. Give them time, they will come around and know you for themselves. Associates, they are troublemaker. Keep up drama. So this could be what he thinks about Diddy's associates. As far as him having you know, the people around him that keeps up drama. 
All I know is to say associates, they are troublemaker. Keep keeping up drama. Allegedly. They are low vibrational. Their thoughts and actions can be negative in their words. I remind you, I'll say that my attention on his thoughts about P. Diddy, as far as him growing up, watching him, observing him. I have here addictions, alcohol, drinking abuse. Has a addiction, drugs, sex, and alcohol. And a lot of this is just additional information. This says, get your power back, say no. I feel like with this energy, this energy is about Quincy. Quincy needs to get his power back and say no. Maybe he was known for saying yes a lot around him. And Quincy needs to get his power back and start saying no, okay? Me, what he's saying. And say what he means. He's probably known for saying yes around P. Diddy all the time, you know, trying to suck up to him, trying to please him. But the spirit is saying, get your power back and say no. And I feel like also Quincy's trying to find himself, you know, um, this is just additional information coming out. It says the need for going back to school for higher education. And then it says right here, look for a new job offer. To me, it's like he's trying to find his find his uh, find himself as far as not trying to do anything up under the umbrella of Diddy. You know, find his own identity. That's what I'm getting. Okay. But for some reason, he's still feeling not confident. But eventually he will get there. He just had to get his man right. And, you know, once he figure out what it is that he wants to do, I do see him going forward. Now, sometimes additional information comes out. I, I don't have no, I don't have no control what comes out, but I am going to be specific. I want to know: Do Quincy feels deep down, due to the rumors and gossip, that Diddy had anything to do with his mother's death? Do Quincy feel deep down, due to the rumors and gossip about his mother's death, that Diddy had anything to do with it? There's just additional information. And this is confirmation, because we saw the word change earlier. We saw the word change earlier, as far as in the near future for him. So he's just saying big, happy changes for Quincy, okay? So, do Quincy believe or feel deep down that Diddy had anything to do with his mother's death?
I'm still not getting my answer, but I was led to stop. That's crazy. Look for a sign came out. And we know when, when I pulled that uh, message, oneness, you know, it was speaking about Quincy looking for a sign because he had a decision to make. But this is what came out of it. It speaks about opportunity. So some kind of opportunity is going to present itself to him. It speaks about improving health. And I feel like the improving health factor is due to, is due to he's been stressing, okay? And we know that can create, that can create other health problem and it has your compromise something about compromise and it says look for a sign let's get let's continue but no matter what he's going through the outcome is going to be some positive changes for him Okay, it has here something about a year from now, okay, how we did see the word changes. So something's going to um, happen a year from now for Quincy. And it has here, ask your angels. Remember, he has a decision to make. It says, ask your angels. And then it has here, abundance. So. He is, he does have abundance. Like I said, it depends on what this means to him. Hopefully right here, this is in the near future energy. Hopefully right here, you know, he will eventually, you know, um, get his peace back. Okay. And pretty much heal from within due to his mother passing, but it has her abundance for Quincy. And I did ask the question. I did ask the question um, due to the rumors and gossip about, his mother's passing, do he believe deep down that P. Diddy had anything to do with his mother's um, death? And I got yes, okay? I feel like deep down he was in denial about it. He didn't want to believe it. But, see, I don't know who's all getting in his ear. His father definitely believes that um, his mother, Kim Porter, was murdered, okay? And I'm sure that him and his father had those talks. But, see, Quincy is not going to repeat what him and his father is saying to P. Diddy, okay? Yes, he has love for both of them, but he don't want his father uh, to be put in harm like he was before, but thanks be to most High God, you know, covered him and he's still with us. So Quincy knows what he knows, okay? He knows what he knows. And I do feel like deep down, he does feel that P. Diddy may have some, something to do with his mom's um, demise, uh, allegedly. And see, you can imagine him trying to be the big brother of his siblings, you know, um, not only he trying to make sure he's going to okay, but he want to make sure his siblings are okay also. I'm sure his mom told him, you know, take care of your siblings, you know, watch out for your siblings. And he seems to be um, very close to his siblings as well. And I feel that has a lot to do with why he's still living within that household. That's his way of looking out for his siblings' well-being. I see by him not being with, inside that household, he wouldn't be knowing what's going on because he'll be on the outside. But by him being on the inside, how you say keep your enemies closer? By him being on the inside, he's more informed with what's going on. <clears throat> what are Quincy's current 
thoughts. Or I'll quit see current thought about dating. Well, I'll quit the current thoughts about dating. Finding out the truth crushed me. You better not tell me the spirit is not speaking. I can't make this up. What truth? Well, I did ask earlier, due to all the rumors and gossip about Daddy and the death of his mother, do he believe deep down that Daddy may have something to do with his mother's death? And I got the answer, yes. And then this right here backs me up. He found out some kind of truth. Let me just say that. And then you know his dad had his dad, I'll be sure, had a health had a health scare. He found out about something. Please know that. But I feel like Quince is trying to play it cool. He has to, but no matter what, he's covered. He's gonna be just fine. He's gonna be just fine. Mm, I wasn't expecting that. This is the back. I replay our conversations over and over. I wonder with who. I replay our conversations over and over. I wonder with who. This is him reflecting. Isn't that something? What are the current energies? How does Quincy feel about his father, I'll be sure? What are the current energies? What are his thought process concerning his father, I'll be sure? Hmm. They must, they must, they, they relationship is very strained. Their relationship is very strained. I don't react when people mention you. I wonder why. Could it be that he knows that I'll be sure and Diddy are not on good terms? Could it be that maybe he doesn't want to hurt Diddy's? feelings by mentioning his father. I wonder why. I don't react when people mention you. The question is what people? Okay, what people? Look what came out. Synchronicities. Remember that word, oneness? And I told you, this is him going within himself seeking answers. Look at that. I will wait for a signing from you. See that word, sign? He's seeking a sign. Now, the sign could be maybe, you know, his a sign from his mother in the spirit realm. Because I, I do sense that she's all around him. She's around her children, period. But see, he's looking for a sign, whether it's in his dreams or even out here, okay? I will wait for a sign from you, whatever this means to him. The timing just wasn't right for us.
whatever this means to Quincy. Could it be Quincy speaking about his father, I'll be sure. If I have that close son and father, have that have that close son and father bond. This means something. Cause see, when he was young, his mama hooked up with Diddy, you know, and Diddy was around him like another father figure, and I think Diddy adopted him also. I, I don't get that, you know. Uh, I don't know how another man can adopt your child without the father giving a consent. I don't know how that works. Maybe he just looked up to Diddy as a father figure, you know, since Dick, since Diddy was the one that was more successful. You know, um, I'm not really sure why he, um, before his mom died, I'm not really sure why he looked up to Diddy more than his own father. Holy Spirit needs to be to all truth and clarity about Quincy. Why is it that Quincy looks up to P. Diddy as a father figure than I'll be sure? Why is it Quincy looks up to P. Diddy as a father figure than I'll be sure? Boy, this is crazy. <laughs> I couldn't let you get close to me. So is it that he didn't want his father to get close to him? I don't know, family. <laughs> I don't, I, you know, uh, this is weird. I couldn't let you get close to me. Hmm. Why is it Quincy wouldn't want his biological father to get close to him? Seeking clarity. Why is it that Quincy wouldn't let his biological father get close to him? Because all that I could think of is unless he wanted to please P. Diddy, you know? Seeking clarity. Seeking clarity. Ooh. I'm not really getting my answer. This just says we will be together again. I'm not really sure how he's reflecting on this or he's Unless you think about his mother, okay? But I'm going to ask the question again. And I, and I don't know, I don't know if he was trying to bond more with Diddy because maybe that's what his mom may have wanted. Or he was trying to please his mother. I don't, I don't know. I couldn't let you get close to me. Seeking clarity, I couldn't let you get close to me. Seeking clarity, I couldn't let you get close to me. I couldn't let you get close to me. Clarity. That's interesting. I got, I will wait for a sign for, from you. So this means something. I will wait for a sign from you. This means something. That's all I, can, that's all I gotta say. When my messages start to repeat themselves, it's, it's something to it. I'm gonna shuffle one more time, okay? I couldn't let you get close to me. I couldn't let you get close to me. Seeking clarity. 
I couldn't make it get close to me. I couldn't make it get close to me. Oop. Hello. I couldn't make it get close to me. Mm. Okay, it looks like it looks like um in the past, in the distant past, Quincy and his father um relationship went to the left. I don't know if it was due to a disagreement or some kind of conflict between these two, but I'm just gonna read out what I have here, okay? So this one came out. I want to know his thoughts about his dad, right? I'll be sure. And it has here, I couldn't let you get close to me. And then this says, um, I wish I could take back my words. So he, he may have gotten mad at his father for some reason in the past. I don't react when people mention you. See, it came right back out. It's like, I'll be who? I feel you even though we are apart. And I'm becoming a better person. So maybe he was taking his anger out on his father by distancing from him. And you know how some people want to get you back by um, bonding with somebody, by bonding with your enemy or, or bonding with somebody that you don't like. It's pretty much, that's what I'm getting, allegedly. Like, he was trying to stick it to his father, you know, by bonding more with Diddy, you know, for whatever reason. Um, I'm becoming a better person. Uh, it, it do look like these two are trying to, you know, come back together as father and son slowly. Okay, I say slowly, because there are times that they are seen together, but still... You know, when I notice when I notice when Alby when Alby is trying to speak his truth, um, because he feels how he feels and he has every right to feel how he feels. But he's he has had them conversations with Quincy's mother concerning Diddy. So Al know what he knows, okay? And I feel like when he's trying to, you know, have those conversations with his son, his son sh shuts it down, you know, due to out of respect that he has for Diddy. But these so-called conversations that Quincy and his father have had, okay, and also conversations that he had with other people that I feel are getting in his ear, he started to come to the truth. But he's still trying to, you know, I feel like Quincy is trying to lay low and not come out suspicious of, you know, what he's picking up, okay, as far as... um. The things that people are saying about Diddy, I, I feel like due to the respect of his other siblings, that he's keeping it to himself, okay? Because he's still staying in that house for a reason. And like I said, I, I feel like he's still there by just being my sister's keeper, my brother's keeper, by keeping an eye on his siblings, making sure that they're making sure that they are okay. Um, but I do, I do still sense that he still have love for Diddy. But still, something within him has changed also about him. And yes, I'm going to say it, allegedly, I do sense that Quincy um, know deep down that Diddy may have had something to do with his mother, okay? The death of, of his mother, okay? Allegedly, but that's what I'm sensing. But as you see, his relationship with Al B has been very strained, okay, for whatever reason. Noticing that message is saying that I wish I could take back my words. So there was no telling what, you know, due to their past, you know, altercation with each other, what he could have said that could have hurt his father's feelings. You know, um, you feel like this man is, is a better man than I am and I am your father. You know, so you can just imagine that conversation.
it's kind of it's kind of like you were brainwashed in a way, but I'm not gonna say that Diddy brainwashed Quincy. I'm not gonna say that. I I, I believe that Quincy was just so accustomed to the lifestyle and um that world that Diddy was in. You know, he just chose that. He's chosen that instead. And he also wanted to be accepted as well. Okay. Lastly, I'm going to use this. Minute, I'm just trying to get my thoughts together. Since Cassie lawsuit, since Cassie lawsuit, against P. Diddy, what are those energies? No, no, what are those thoughts? Hello. That just says hope, but I didn't get a chance to finish. Since Cassie, since Cassie went into lawsuit against P. Diddy, what are Quincy's thoughts in the aftermath? What are Quincy's thoughts in the aftermath concerning Cassie winning that lawsuit against P. Diddy? What are Quincy's thoughts in the aftermath of Cassie's lawsuit? The first card I have is ego. I left I let my pride get in the way of our connection. So this is this is um Quincy still reflecting on someone, okay? Give me a minute. I feel like this energy is between P. Diddy and Quincy, okay? And maybe the ultimate ego and pride is P. Diddy behind the scenes right now, okay? Um, as you notice, the energy in the beginning of this reading, I was picking up on the fact that from Quincy's perspective, allegedly, that P. Diddy was pretty much distancing himself from everybody because he's going through it. I'm sure, he, I'm sure behind the scenes, he's also depressed. But anyway... It has your ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. So this could be P. Diddy energy as far as, you know, letting his pride get in the way of his connection with um Quincy. He could be very, the relationship could, could be very strained behind the scenes. I have here unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. I feel like the outcome of that lawsuit um, Quincy was not expecting that, okay? It has her, um, unexpected outcome. He was shocked. I feel like he was shocked the fact that P. Diddy paid her off. Because if you feel like the person is lying, why not fight? Why pay them off? That's just my take on it. It could be something else. Things didn't go the way I planned. I have here space. I need more time to think. I feel like this is P. Diddy energy. Like I said, distancing himself. I can imagine him in his little, you know, work office space at home, drinking and just wallowing in his sorrows. He realizing his money can't protect him. And I feel like this is um, Quincy's energies. He's looking for an escape. We did see the message um, that came out um, 
I think it said journey, I believe. It has here, escape. I left when things got hard. I feel like the more chaotic the um, environment is at home, uh, Quincy might, you know, break away and travel and go somewhere to get away from that chaotic energy. I'm going to shuffle one more time. I'm going to end this reading. What are the current energy surrounding Quincy? What are the current energy surrounding Quincy? What are the current energy surrounding Quincy? I have here time. This time means something to him, okay? It says, I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Like I said, it's something that he wants to do. But I got the answer not the right time either. Notice, notice those words, time. I got the answer not the right time. But he's afraid to take action. It just depends on what this means to him. Maybe he knows something, okay? Maybe he knows something. You never know. Right here, Quincy is feeling very unsatisfied. I wasn't happy the way things were going, whatever this means to him. And I have here reveal. I think about the big reveal. I want to tell you the truth. Hmm. What truth, Quincy? You're like, you're like, it's like you hold on to some information. What truth you want to speak on, Quincy? Let me see if I can get some uh, clarification on this. According to the spirit, you're feeling very unsatisfied. And also, according to the spirit, um, you feel that it's too late to take action. I want to tell you the truth. Well, what's the big reveal, Quincy? What you want to say? What's the big reveal? Missed opportunities. I didn't act when I should have. You see that? It, it, it's like he missed on an opportunity. Wanted to speak up about something? I should have acted when I should have. Hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? I should have acted when I should have. Missed opportunity. What does that energy look like? What is the missed opportunity? What does that energy look like? What is this missed? Oh. Um, I'm going to reshuffle, okay? Because it came out so fast. I have here chemistry. I have never felt a passion like this. Intense. And I have here unappreciated. I feel like you didn't care. But I'm going to reshuffle. Miss opportunity, I didn't act when I should have. I want to tell you the truth, seeking clarity. I want to tell you the truth. What is the truth, Quincy? What is the truth? What is the truth, Quincy? What is the truth? Holding back, I should have expressed myself better. Holding back. And don't y'all remember that message came out said, uh, respect the no. You know, I, 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 I'll, let many of you, I'll let many of you know he needs to get his power back. Stop, stop, being, stop saying yes all the time. Trying to please some damn body and let your no be no. And don't give in to nobody. That's what I said. Don't give in to nobody. Let your no be no. Hmm. I should have expressed myself better, holding back. Hmm, that's interesting right there. All three of these got me scratching my head. I want to tell you the truth. I, I didn't act when I should have. 
I should have expressed myself better. What is the truth? What are you holding back on? What's the truth, Quincy? I have your disagreements. I wish you understood how I feel. I want to tell you the truth. You can clarify on, I want to tell you the truth. You can clarify on, I want to tell you the truth. You can clarify on, I want to tell you the Then I have here forgiveness. So I don't know, maybe this pertains to relationships. I don't know. Forgiveness. I'm struggling to get over the past. It just depends on what this means to him. It could be pertaining to his mother. He's struggling, he's struggling with forgiveness. Okay? And he's struggling with the past. And then it just says new chapter. I'm trying to move on. I want to use this. I just want to get an idea of what I want to tell you the truth. What's that all about? What's the energy surrounding that? The big reveal. I want to tell you the truth. What is the energy behind that? What is the truth, Quincy? I want to tell you the truth. Seeking clarity on the energy surrounding that message. I want to tell you the truth, to give clarity of that energy surrounding the reveal. I want to tell you the truth. What is the truth that you are holding on to? What is the truth that you are holding on to? I want to tell you the truth. Oop. I want to tell you the truth. <sighs> Why do I feel this way? I can't do this right now. But I get messages like this. I can't do this right now. I think about somebody that's trying to communicate with them. And they're like shunning from them saying, no, not right now. I can't talk right now. You know, why do I feel this way? I can't do this right now. What is the big reveal, Quincy? What is the truth? What is the truth? I want to tell you the truth. See clarity on. I want to tell you the truth. It is all too much. It seems like when it comes to his feelings, he's suppressing it. Okay. Now I'm not saying he's in the closet. Okay. <laughs> I ain't saying he's in the closet. But you know how people be holding on when it comes to the truth. And they are suppressing it. They're not speaking out about it. And it's affecting him badly. Now, whatever this means to him, it's something that he knows about, but he's not speaking up about it, okay? But anyway, it is all too much. He's feeling very overwhelmed about it. I can't do this right now. Why do I feel this way? It is all too much. I want to tell you the truth. What's the truth, Quincy? Seeking clarity. What's the truth? What's the truth? What are you holding back on? What's the truth? What are you holding back on? What's the truth? Right here, uh, this someone is operating their ego, okay? It has here, I'm the man. Like, yeah, I got it going on. I'm the man. Oh, 
Okay, I feel like a lot of this is a potential relationship. I don't know who he's seeing, but it, uh, but it has here, but it has here. I can't promise you anything. I think about somebody that's expecting something out of him, and he's saying, "I can't promise you. I can't promise you anything." Okay, and you know, as they say, let's just enjoy the moment. I can't promise you anything else. I wish I could be a different person, and then I feel like due to his upbringing, being around Diddy. Did he come off as a playboy and all of that? I feel like it that has really affected Quincy. You know, I feel like that has really affected him when it comes to his relationships. Now, this is somebody that's real arrogant, and they think they think that they is shit. If you know what I mean, okay? This this, this somebody come out to me like a playboy. You know, they just want to play, have fun. You know, they're not taking you seriously. I'm the man. But it has here, I wish I could be a different person. I can't promise you anything. So who knows? Maybe that big reveal could be if he was seeing anybody behind the scenes, you know, he could be cheating on them, seeing somebody else. Or if he's seen somebody, you know, um, he may not be committed to them. You know, pretty much the same thing. I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm the man. Oh. All right, I'm just going to share these two. I feel like I'm still not really getting the answers that I want, but maybe it's not what I think it is, if you know what I mean. Uh, it could be potential relationships, but it says it is dark without you. I feel like this could be him reflecting on his mother. And then this says, I wish I could understand you. It just depends on who and what this means to him. And maybe I want to tell you the truth. Maybe this could be something that he knows about, okay? That he's keeping dear to himself. The big reveal. I'm going to ask one more time. What are Quincy thoughts about P. Diddy in the present? In the present, what are Quincy thoughts about P. Diddy? What are Quincy thoughts about P. Diddy in the present? What are Quincy thoughts about P. P. Diddy? I get that. In the present. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me pick them up. Mm. I'm just going to show you what came out, and I'll let y'all be the judge as far as putting no puzzle pieces together. I want you to know what are his current thoughts about Diddy, all right? This is what came out, everything's allegedly. And it's not in divine order. This just says, I feel lonely. Whatever that means, okay? I feel lonely. Why can't I tell you the truth? You can say this could be Quincy thoughts about Diddy. Why is it that he feel Diddy can't tell him the truth? Or it could be something going on with Quincy. He feels like why he can't tell Diddy the truth. I let y'all be the judge. What is the truth? 
And I got childhood trauma. It says childhood trauma. And we know when it comes to childhood trauma, you know, a lot of times that can be due to abandonment issue. I think about the relationship that he had with his father or the lack of relationship that he had with his father. I'll be sure in his earlier years, I think about abuse, okay, physical abuse, sexual abuse, verbal abuse. But it looked like Quincy had experienced some kind of trauma in his childhood that's affecting him. And I'm going to leave that there. Now for me to see this, a lot of times when a person's like this, they are they have they have experienced uh, abandonment issues. Okay. Anyway, I don't want to dig no more. Um. I would love for him to write a book. You can imagine the things that he would have to say. And you can imagine what would come out of his mouth as far as those things he have heard and seen growing up, okay, in a household of being uh, one of Diddy's children. And the things he have seen also as far as around his mother. He definitely has a voice. He's not exercising it right now, but you never know it in your future. I do wish Quincy all the best. But right now, he's suppressing a lot. He keeps a lot to himself right now for whatever reason. Thank you for watching. Much love to you all and bye for now.